Hi everyone, it's Ruby and Rayleigh and welcome back to our channel. Today in this video we are going to be doing a three colour painting challenge. We're going to be painting and making over phone cases. So we have done this video before and it got over 1 million views so thank you so much for that. And we both wanted to do another one on top of the fact that we also need new phone cases. So we thought now was the perfect time to make this video again. If you like this video, make sure to give it a thumbs up and subscribe to our channel if you like our content and also turn on the notification bell if you want to be notified, that's big words, anytime we post a new video. Also, if there isn't already too many things to do, Ruby also has her own channel. It's called Ruby Rose UK and she posts on there weekly now on Fridays, so you should definitely go and look at it. On my channel, I do less art videos and do more lifestyle videos. So if you're interested in that, then make sure to go check it out. Link in the description. So today we are painting some clear phone cases and these are from Amazon, but you can get them from a lot of different places as well. Mm -hmm. And you can even get them in packs as well. Yeah. That's what we did. Mine is for an iPhone 8 Plus, because that's what I've got. And mine's for the new iPhone SE, which I've got. We're also using clear phone cases because they're really easy to paint and they don't rely on a background colour that isn't your phone. Exactly, and they're just really cool in general because they're yeah. clear. So, how this challenge is going to work is we're going to take it in turns to choose three different colours and themes for our phone cases. And there's going to be two rounds to this, so we're both going to be painting two phone cases overall. So these are all of the paint colours and there is loads of them, but for each round we're going to be taking turns to pick three colours each. Mm -hmm. There are 12 here all together which means for the first round 6 will get chosen and once those colours are chosen they are no longer an option for the next round so we'll have 6 remaining. As another choice that will just get given to us regardless we have some black and white markers that we can use and we can choose to use these or we can choose to ignore them. What are it is? Ready? Okay, I've got to think strategically because I'm the one with all the options. Yes! Hmm. What colour do I want? Like, really want. Okay, I've got it. I'm going to go for this. Yellow. Ew. I'm going to go for the green. Ew! <laughs> I didn't want to pick that. I thought it was pastel because I looked from the back. <laughs> Ew! Oof. I was hoping you wouldn't pick this one. Okay, I don't right. really mind because I don't think I'm going to use it for that much. Okay, your turn. I'm just gonna check the actual colours this time. <laughs> okay, the second colour, I think I'm gonna go with safe option. Okay. One of these. They're very similar. But I think the one I'm gonna go with. What goes best with this? Because I don't want it to clash. What do you think, right? I think that one goes better, but I prefer that colour on its own. So I mean you choose. This one. I'm gonna go for. Yay. I am gonna go for this one. <laughs> Pick your last colour. Okay. Brown would look good. Why would I pick brown? I don't know, it'd look like a sunflower, wouldn't it? Um, okay, I think I'm gonna go with something bright. Ooh. Maybe you haven't already got a... <laughs> I'm really struggling. Come on. I've already got my choice ready. Okay, so because I have like the yellowy tones going on, let's make it a bit of a golden nice. tone as well. Brown. I'm gonna go with this because I feel like, I know they don't look like great right now together, but I know that I will make them look really yeah, cool. Look and I have some ideas. Well, I'm picking this one. We've got our paints now, and the second to last round before we start painting our phone cases is whatever this is. Cards. Cards, let's find out. Fantasy. Flowers! Or fruit. So these are themes. Wait, okay. I was thinking like I might regret the colours I get just because of the themes, but now I have a really good idea, but I hope you don't pick my idea. I have one I really want to pick. You ready? I want fantasy. <sighs> is that a good thing? Woo, thank you so much. You both win. <laughs> I was so scared. Oh, I thought you'd pick fantasy or flowers. It's one I want. Oof. Well done. We, I'm glad we did good on that one. This is the last round and it's paper again. So I'm guessing it's going to be like a theme. Three, two, one. Oh, Illu oh the illustration. Way the way we're doing it. Graphic or pattern. Um, right. I think I know what you're going to pick. Fantasy, I would think of like twirly things. So I think illustration. Think about it for a minute. Rock, paper, scissors. You ready? So the one I'm gonna pick is... I'm trying to see if it's the one you want. 
Well, I wanna actually do one. I want. So I'm gonna pick pattern. Nice. I'm picking illustration. I thought you'd pick that. <laughs> We've got all of our stuff ready now to begin our designs. And my themes are fantasy and illustration. And my themes are pattern and flowers. Also, do you know what you are painting on there? Yeah, I do. Me too, I have ideas. With flowers, it's quite an obvious thing what you're painting. Right, so we're gonna start drawing the designs out now. I'm done. Oh, yours is cool. <gasps> Wait, you're doing a butterfly. Well, that is a fantasy thing. I'm just doing classic little flowers. But it's taking a while because mm. I had to change pens. It looks cool though. I am ready to start painting now and the first colour that I will be using is the green. Okay, I'm finished. Oh, and now I'm gonna move on to painting. What do you think so far? Whoa, it's so fantasy like. So I'm still painting mine right now and the thing is with mine it looks really good and I'm really happy mm. with it but it would have been a bit better if I didn't do so much pen but I think I can fix that if I do a few layers of the painting and then I can do like a posca outline so it's really yeah. like sleek. Cool, I am right now just building mine up and the next thing I'm going to be building up with is the white posca pen. So we're going to finish off our phone case painting and then we'll be mm -hmm. back to you for the final reveal. Yep. We have fully completed our round one phone cases now. I am really excited for this on my phone. Me too, I'm so excited to show you all too. I wanna to see what it looks like on my phone so badly. Mm -hmm. So this is mine, I'm gonna show you what in three, two, one. Here it is, it's really simple pattern. It's so cool, it's really oh, it's cool. It's so effective and it's so cute. It's literally like little flowers and because I had brown, I thought why not make it quite a cool like color scheme. So I went with like the browns and the yellow. So I did yellow as a normal daisy and then I added a brown. But mm. we are going to be sealing it with Mod Podge so that none of the paint peels off or anything. It's quite an important step to do, especially if you're painting in acrylic on plastic because it can peel off. Mm. I'm gonna try it with my phone now, I'm really excited. Whoa! What does it look like? Does it look good? <gasps> yeah, it looks good. Yeah, that's so cute, it's so summery. I've been wanting new phone cases, so I'm very happy with this video. This is what it looks like on my phone, it's really nice, and obviously it's really summery, and oh, it reminds me of you, the phone case. Okay, your turn. That's right. Three, two, one. This is what I created. It's kind of like a butterfly, fairy wing design. It's got green, purple, and then a very, very light peach pink. And I really, really like it. It's so cute and it's so like fantasy-like, definitely. Mm -hmm. And I think, especially on my phone, it'll look really cool because my phone's like a pink shade. You know what we should make? I should make one, a clear one, with the other wing. So they go together. And there's like a friendship one. You should do that with your friend, that'd be cool. I'm gonna put it on my phone. Oh my gosh. It works, is not it? Aww, that looks so good. I don't know why, they just give off the good vibes of the actual phone case. This is what it looks like. I am so happy with my colour choice for this. Like paired with my phone, that, look, that looks pretty cool. It looks right, it literally looks like it fits the actual phone in general, so does mine. So, these are our first custom painted phone cases. Make sure you comment on the community page who you like the most. Rays or Rubies. I cannot pick. I can't pick all. either, they're so different, but like, I love them both. I think they both do really well. They're so cute. Okay, on to round two. I am very, very excited about what I made in the first round. I think it's gonna be really hard to do something better. 
Me too, but now we are on to round two and we are going to start off with the themes this time so it's easiest so we know what we're painting so then we can get the right colours. Animals. Abstract. Or astronomy. Well, I win. Right, so. You know what, I'd usually pick astronomy just because I think it's really cool. I don't know what that is. Space. Oh, it's brilliant. But in this case, I'm going to pick animals. Because I've got a cool idea. Okay, well, I was gonna pick animals, but I had like a second choice, if not. I have an idea of what I wanna do for this. I'm not sure which one it fits into because the way I want to paint it is abstract. Mm -hmm. But the thing I think fits into astronomy, so I'm gonna okay. go with this. I feel like we kind of switched up this round a bit. I would have picked that, you would have picked this, but we reverse. Round two, it's paper again. And I think it's gonna be like the last round where it's like the style. Yes. Oh, cute. Print. Ombre. What paper scissors? I'm gonna have to get your axe up there. I want cute, which is not something I'd usually pick. I'm surprised. But I've that. got an idea that I want to do. I thought you were gonna pick print. I'm not actually. Ombre. Oh, cool. Okay, final round is our paint. I'm gonna do rock, paper, scissors. You ready? I get to start to top. So, the colour I want, I feel like if I pick this, you're gonna pick that, and if that, then it's that. I don't know, that's just what I thought I'd like. take one. Surprising, but kind of not at the same time. Okay, well, I guess, like, <laughs> kind of the same. Okay! I got the colours I wanted. Really? <laughs> I yeah. thought you'd want this one. No offence, but I just tried to sabotage you a little bit. I don't like that one. I don't really even. <laughs> <laughs> okay, we've got all of our materials now to paint our second phone case. These are the colours I'm using and my theme is animals. And these are the colours I'm using and my theme is astronomy. But it's loosely connected, connected to it, but it does make sense. I need to draw my design out first though. I don't. I'm going to start painting and I'm going to start off with... I think I'm going to start off with pink. I'm gonna draw mine out, but the first colour I'll use after that is this one. We are doing completely different things right now. Oh, cool. That looks good. I like it. Thank you. I have to do all the colours kind of at the same time because it's an mm. ombre effect. Now I am going to be using a black marker. I am going to use a Sharpie for this. I have finished the drawing now, I did it in Sharpie, and now I'm ready to start painting. That's my reaction for everything, that's all it's going to be this entire <laughs> Because it's so cute, that's the only reaction you can really have for it. Thank you. Oh, you're doing it below you. I am. Right, both of us have finished all of our painting. Now we're going to be outlining and putting the final details on. Okay, we're gonna do these final detailing and we'll see you all for the final reveal. Finally finished, this one was a bit quicker than the first round and I'm really excited about it. Can I go first this time? Yes. Right. Three, two, one. This is what I created. It will make more sense when I put it on the phone. But it's, well, it's a dinosaur painting, isn't it? It's so cute, <laughs> honestly. It's so smart as when you sit on the phone, you'll see what it means. Again, all of these designs are going to be sealed with Mod Podge just over where the lines are. I'm going to put it on my phone now. Ah, I'm excited. Oh, that's so smart. It worked. 
That's so cute. So, here's what it looks like on the phone. And the idea, if you can tell, is that the dinosaur's painting the apple. This isn't an original idea. I saw something like it online. My inspiration came from that. It is really smart and it's so yeah. cute. I think it's quite cool. Anyways, now it's on to my one. I'm so excited. It's probably my favorite one out of them. Three, two, one. I love this one. Um, it's such an abstract piece of art. It's so pretty. And it's just like clouds, like really pretty clouds. I've actually seen clouds like this color before, like pink colored. And then little moon and some stars. And yeah, I love this. So I'm going to put it on my phone now. I just realized it might be covering the apple, but I don't know. <laughs> we'll see how this looks. I'm very excited. That looks cool. That looks so cool. So I'm going to show you in three, two, one. Here it is. I'm really happy with it. I love this gradient so much. It looks really good on the white background. But the only thing I would change next time is to work with the apple mm. because obviously it's not in like line with it and it's not got anything to do with it. So the apple's just there. I think it looks really good anyway. But there is a tip for future reference if you've done this at home or are planning on doing it. Work with the apple because you could put the apple in it. Or if you don't have an apple phone and you don't have an apple on there, you might not have to worry about it. Okay, so these are our second three color painted phone cases. I'm really excited about this one. I think it's quite cool. Me too, I love these and mm -hmm. they're so cute. Comment on the community page which one you prefer for this round. Rubies or Rayleigh's? Another positive about using clear phone cases, aside from the fact they're really cheap, is that you can actually trace designs. As we did in our pop-up challenge where we painted each other as portraits, you can get the design perfect even if you don't feel confident tracing it yourself. So these are our final phone cases. We hope you like them and we hope we've inspired you to paint your own. We have two shout outs for this video. Shout out number one goes to Georgia underscore art dot X. Georgia shared her Instagram account with us on Instagram and she's got some really, really beautiful artwork on there. It's very realistic and very colorful and I'm quite jealous because I can't paint like that. Georgia also has a TikTok account with the same name and you should definitely go and check that out because there's some more really beautiful artwork on there. The second shout out goes to the Indian Art 01 who has an amazing Instagram account with loads of good artwork. They have a blend of modern and traditional artwork on their Instagram account which is so so good and they also do really good reels so make sure to mm -hmm. go check their account out. If you want a shout out in a future video, either tag us in a post or a story on Instagram where you show your art, comment on the community page on a YouTube channel that displays your art or email us your artwork that's long. Mm -hmm. Anyways, we hope you enjoyed our video. Thank you so much for watching. We love you. Bye. So how this challenge is going to work is we're going to take it in turns to choose two, three. So how this challenge is going to work is we're going to take it in turns to choose so many turns. Yeah. And if we do use them the way we'll put now that I have finished the pollen part of it and it's all dry.